Once upon a time, there was a wise old man named Benjamin. He had lived many years and experienced many things in his life. He had traveled the world, raised a family, and pursued his passions. Through his life's journey, he had learned many lessons, but there was one particular lesson that he valued above all others, and that was the lesson of the jar of life. This lesson had been passed down to him from his father, and it was a powerful teaching that had stayed with him ever since. He had shared it with many people throughout his life, and now he wanted to share it with a young man named David, who was struggling to make sense of his life. I want to share a lesson with you, my boy, Benjamin said, calling David over. Benjamin brought out a large empty jar and placed it on the table in front of David. This jar represents your life, Benjamin continued, and the rocks in it represent the important things in your life, your family, your health, your dreams, and your aspirations. These are the things that, if everything else was lost and only they remained, your life would still be meaningful. The pebbles represent the other things in your life, such as your job, your car, your possessions, and the sand represents the small stuff, like petty grievances, minor worries, and daily frustrations. He continued, Now I want you to fill this jar with these items, starting with the rocks. You must arrange them in such a way that they will all fit inside. David began to fill the jar with rocks, carefully placing them to make sure they took up as much space as possible. Once all the rocks were inside, he looked at Benjamin, who said, Is it full? David replied, Yes, it's full. But then Benjamin pulled out a bag of pebbles and poured them into the jar. The pebbles filled the gaps between the rocks. Now, look at the jar again. Is it full now? Benjamin asked. David hesitated, but then he shook his head. There's still some space left, he replied. Benjamin nodded and then pulled out a bag of sand. He poured the sand into the jar and it filled all the remaining spaces. Now the jar is full, Benjamin said, looking at David. This jar represents your life, and the lesson to learn from it is this. If you fill your life with the small stuff, you will never have room for the important things. You need to focus on what is truly important, your family, your health, your dreams, and your aspirations, and then the rest will fall into place. David was amazed at the wisdom of the lesson and the simplicity of the jar of life. He realized that he had been focusing so much on the small stuff that he had lost sight of what was really important to him. He thanked Benjamin for the lesson and left with a newfound perspective on life. From that day on, David lived his life with a different approach. He made sure to prioritize the important things in his life, such as his family and his health. He pursued his passions and dreams, knowing that they were the rocks in his life and would give him a sense of fulfillment and happiness. Whenever he encountered the small stuff, like petty grievances and minor worries, he remembered the lesson of the jar of life and realized that they were insignificant in the grand scheme of things. He focused on the rocks in his life and lived his life to the fullest. The lesson of the jar of life stayed with David throughout his life and guided him on his journey. Whenever he felt lost or unsure of himself, he would come back to this lesson and remind himself of what was truly important. And in doing so, he would find his way again. In the end, David realized that the jar of life wasn't just a lesson, but a philosophy of life, a philosophy that could help him lead a meaningful and fulfilling life. And whenever he shared this lesson with others, he was passing on a precious gift, a gift that would help them see their lives in a new light, a gift that would change their lives forever.